Hey guys, my name is Matthew and this is my review of Dead End and Norvelt by Jack Gantos. Here we go. Dead End and Norvelt is a historical fiction book based loosely on Jack Gandos's life. In the book, Jack spends the summer grounded and his only respite from his room is helping his kooky old neighbor, Mrs. Volker. The book abounds with plenty of funny jokes, lots of goofy situations, and lovable characters. Perfect for a Newbery Award winner. In this review, I'm gonna be listing some of my observations about the book, starting with some of my favorite things about the book and moving through the list to some of my least favorite things. To start with, I think the characters were really relatable and really lovable. While some of them felt more like caricatures, all of them felt really real. I've really seen people acting and behaving the way that they acted in the book. Even the ones that seemed crazy felt like situations that actually happened to people who could actually exist. They were frustratingly too real sometimes. Another thing I really liked is all the goofy situations that happened. While I doubt that all these situations could have happened over the course of a summer, and of course there's questionability as to whether or not they're all real or not, the situations all felt like they could have actually been real, or at least they're fragments of truth in each situation. I really appreciated that. I thought they were funny, and there was just so much humor in the situations themselves. Similar to other Newbery Award winning books, this book has a lot of great history embedded in it. While the book isn't necessarily filled with facts about history, it does give us a glimpse into the way that previous generations lived their lives. It's really cool to see the different priorities that another generation may have, and the, the children's book is written in a way that it may encourage children to actually find out more about that historical time period. Maybe they'll go talk to their grandparents or their parents and find out what it was like to live in this world. Even if not every aspect of the history in this book was true, it does invite conversations to happen, and I think that's great. This book was wacky and funny. Maybe it's because I'm a small boy at heart, but the fart jokes are great. The funny, goofy, aspect of the whole book, it really kind of aligned with who I am. I appreciated the, the goofiness of the whole book. And this is similar, but I love the theme of irony that is just constant in the town. If you're interested in reading the book, make sure that you look for the irony. Each character displays some kind of irony within them. The town itself is ironic, and most every situation has just a glimpse of irony in it as well. There's lots of juxtaposition and paradoxical existence of, of mindsets and things like that. It's great. I absolutely love the irony. One thing I wasn't as big a fan of, and it's one of the big complaints about the book, was the historical accuracy is questionable. Now, of course, books can be written with historical accuracy in question, but there are a couple different cases that I don't think were as good. One, I think it would have been really great for the author to have left a note at the beginning or the end of the book saying that, yeah, this book does have some shadows of truth in it because it was written about loosely his life, but there are also lots of things that were fabricated and fictitious as well. A note like that would have really helped a young reader to understand that not everything in the book was completely true. Additionally, the character of Mrs. Volker occasionally gives us historical facts and ideas that also are, are questionably true. Her character is the one that's teaching us most of the history, and so it's tough to know when we can believe her and when we can't. And of course, there are characters like that in the real world. It makes her very real but it doesn't necessarily help us to understand what's real in history. So many of these things, it may be important for a reader to maybe do some research as they're reading the book. So do I recommend this book? Yeah, I do. The book was a great read. It's pretty quick, it's fast paced, it's funny, uh, and I really enjoyed it. I think most people would enjoy this book as long as they come to it understanding that not everything in the book is totally real. One kind of trigger warning I do want to put on the book is there is a fair amount of uh, talk about death in a very casual way, which for some very young readers may be disturbing. That's something just to be aware of. This has been my review of Dead End and Norvelt by Jack Antos. If you enjoyed this content, do feel free to like and subscribe, and as always, stay safe out there.